Hello, so I gave a talk yesterday on a particular um, product that my company does uh, called My Society. We make websites and tools that empower citizens. Uh, and I talked about Fix My Street. But today I'm going to talk about civic hacking, um, which is basically writing software, but not for shiny beans and toys, but for making the world a better place. And what does that actually mean? So here's an example of a site that uh, about 12 volunteers wrote in the UK um, uh, some years ago called They Work For You, and it allows you to find out what your member of parliament, your elected uh, uh, representatives are doing, what are they talking about, how are they voting, and it's a way of keeping track on, uh, on people, making sure they're doing what they should be doing. Um, yeah, so it's basically something that started off as a project uh, by a bunch of geeks and activists, and it turned into a company uh, and various other projects. So we also do tools that allow you to make freedom of, of, of information requests. So this site here is based in the UK, but the software behind it is deployed in various different countries. Um, and we also do parliamentary monitoring, which is like the um, They Work For You. Uh, and we have generic software um, that can be used in all kinds of places. This version here was in Kenya, called Mzalendo. And uh, we do something called Fix My Street, which I talked about, uh, which allows you to report potholes. Uh, and street lighting problems. And so, you know, what the hell has that got to do with citizen power uh, and civic hacking? And basically the reason is it's a kind of gateway drug into going, hey, there's things that aren't working, the people that we voted for aren't doing what they should be doing, I'm now going to make a difference uh, about this. So you get to report a problem and that uh, generates an email or some kind of API request to your local council, they fix the pothole, or maybe they don't. But now you have it on the internet, statistics, about how many things your, your government have fixed. So this uh, is all about open data. Open 311 um, is a date standard invented, first of all, in the States, I think in Chicago, used in Toronto, uh, all, all over the world, um, in Helsinki, for example, um, as a data standard. And our own software has been used in, in Switzerland, in the Philippines. Uh, so some of these are either paid or charitable things that we've done, uh, but also uh, because of the magic of open source, for example, these guys in Uruguay have just forked our code and, uh, and have uh, done some really amazing stuff, integrating Twitter and Facebook and making it a, whole, a, a bit more modern, uh, which is great. Um, and so uh, Fix My Street's an interesting one because it's actually written in Perl. Lots of civic hacking stuff isn't, and that's fine. Um, so these guys, Ciudadano Inteligente, in uh, Chile, do all kinds of work across Latin America. Um, they're really good on the design and user experience stuff, and they do a, a whole load of projects. There's about half a dozen um, uh, really young guys, really enthusiastic, uh, punching much higher than their weight. Um, so our company teamed up with them to do a massive conference in, in, in Chile, um, and uh, so there's some of the guys. Uh, and if you, if you look very, very carefully, you might spot that there's uh, CL, uh, uh, CL Kao, Cha Lang, um, from Taiwan, who spent a lot of time in, in Europe, and has now gone back to Taiwan um, for some time, and he works with a bunch of civic activists called uh, gov.tw, but with a zero, so g0v.tw. And they do lots of things to basically slightly piss off the Taiwanese government by trying to hold them accountable and uh, point out data and um, uh, give information and, uh, and so on. And uh, um, so they, they have a really interesting, uh, most of their content, of course, is in Taiwanese. They have a few articles in English, which are an amazing read about the history of the kind of things they've done and uh, where the government has been really pro and really excited about it. And in some cases, the government sort of made them shut down stuff by changing the API or kind of, you know, threatening or, you know, just not being very helpful. And that's quite interesting because this civic hacking does sometimes feed back into uh, real politics. So in the UK, we've got the government digital services, we've got a whole load of open data stuff, which is really impressive. And a lot of that is actually really bad based on um, the kind of stuff that these civic hackers have been doing over the last decade or more. And so, yes, you know, protest may sometimes be exactly what we need to be doing, but as hackers, we can also uh, do a whole lot, uh, and maybe some of it we should be doing in Perl. Thank you. <laughs>